Well, good afternoon, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me nice and clear. Uh, today is Tuesday, June the 26th, and uh, I want to chat with you on two different topics. Number one, network marketing I read this morning will generate, get a load of this, network marketing as an industry will generate over $1 trillion in the next five years. So can you imagine this industry that a lot of you are in with me over the next five years will generate over $1 trillion um, of revenue. Do you know how many zeros that is behind the one? I don't even know how many there are. I couldn't count. That's a lot of business globally around the world. And so if you're still listening to your broke cousin who fought for a 42 cents raise this year, Folks, we've got to change our mindset. And how much of that one trillion do you personally need yourself to certainly start to create thousands of dollars uh, of, of, of income in your network marketing company? You don't need to generate a trillion dollars in volume. I hope you get there one day. But we're talking about creating that 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 to 40,000 of volume. It's not all you yourself and I doing that. Obviously, as you start out, you find other leaders with your team and you start to leverage yourself and that can duplicate over time and start to create the thousands and five thousands and the ten thousands plus of volume circulating in your overall organization to start seeing you create the hundreds closer to a thousand, the thousands onto the tens of thousands of dollars uh, of commissionable income for you. So folks, you're in the right industry if you're with me, even though there's a lot of frustration like I spoke yesterday about, um, if it was uh, easy, if everybody was doing it, there would be no opportunity. So the fact that we're generating over $1 trillion, or we will be as an industry over the next five years, the growth is is beyond um, comprehensible, especially with the economy, especially with what's going out there in the brick and mortar world, as I've mentioned, um, and as you've seen in terms of what's shutting down, what companies are are closing down. I walked in the mall the other day. It was on a Friday night, so pretty busy night. There wasn't a human being within 60 meters of me everywhere. It was so silent. It was so quiet. Things are changing. And this company that we're working with is so blessed from the front end and social media to start with zero down, to start earning that initial money, those initial commissionable um, incomes that can launch your business into the more um, lucrative uh, monthly income stream. So you're in the right space. One last time, network marketing is going to generate over a trillion dollars in the next five years. Tip number two that I read today that I want to share with you, five effective tips for a digital detox, for a digital detox. We are on these iPhones and I'm the worst at it. That's why I always share with you my journey. Five things that uh, I read that you can help you sort of um, remove yourself from the day-to-day, -day, whether it's your posture, your mental health, your relationships, and you just want to find some more productive time. What's the first thing you can do to create that digital detox? Number one, start by picking just one day of the week to go screen-free. Now, I did a podcast, not a podcast, a Facebook Live many months ago, um, that I take every Sunday off to the best of my ability to not be on this iPhone with respect to doing business, number one, but number two, just surfing away. I literally attempt to place it somewhere where I don't have my iPhone with me on a Sunday. And it's always almost the most refreshing evening come Saturday night that I know that I'm going to put it away for a 24-hour period. And for the most part, not that I check it, you know, a few times. It gives me such a sense of relief that I'm not on this gadget that almost controls me. So try yourself. Start by picking either half a day if you can or half a Saturday if, you're, if you need it during the week. Try it. That's step number one for a digital detox. Number two, relocate your device. If everywhere you go around the house, you've got it with you, every time it bleeps and dings and ka-dings and ding and ding and makes noises, you're going to be grabbing it. Place it, they say, on the farthest 
part of your home under a pillow so that every time it does what it does, you're not going to hear it. You won't have that urge to pick it up and run to it and get caught up in the minutia of, of checking what you check on your iPhone. Point number three, make it as difficult as possible to use your, your device. They talk about women wrapping those hairbands around the screen. And that's kind of made me laugh, but literally use it as a phone. But if the phone rings, you won't be able to kind of see the screen. You can still use it as a phone, but it will stop you from then looking at different apps, getting into Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and, and you know, have you sort of spiral down that rabbit hole, as they say. So I love, love what they said there. Number four or five is fill the void. Now, what do they mean by fill the void? Just leave your phone and go for a walk. Just leave your phone when you're going to grab that coffee with your friend in the car. Just leave the phone when you're going to try a new recipe in the kitchen. Just leave it upstairs in the room. There's just so many ways when you're going to go through a walk in the forest. Just leave the phone behind. It's so refreshing. And I do this every day, so I'm speaking from experience. It is so refreshing to touch soil, to to, 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 to see the nature around us and not be addicted to this physical unit. So try that in those many moments when you're having dinner. A lot of people like to have it right there. Get that phone off the table, okay? So fill the void with other activities, leaving it behind. And number five, and this was the one I'll leave you with, is to install an app to track your usage. I did this about five months ago and was I ever blown away. Some of the apps you can use is Realize D, Moment, Freedom, and Thrive. Those are just some of the uh, apps that you can use that literally monitor your usage on your smartphone. I did this for about a month and a half and you wouldn't believe how many times it showed me picking it up just because I had nothing to do between commercials, for example, watching one of my soccer games and picking it up. I mean, that's just wasted time. And so that really allowed me to reflect and understand how this unit is controlling me outside of my work environment, of course. So that could be number five. Install one of these apps to track yourself and you'll realize how much potentially you are using your, your smartphone for the worse, perhaps not for the better. So hope you got some value from this uh, Facebook Live. Number one, our industry, network marketing, is going to generate, they say, over $1 trillion in the next five years. If those of you are with me in this space on our team, we're sitting pretty, folks. Okay, you just need a whisker of that to, to, to create an income stream beyond your wildest dreams. And number two, the five effective tips for a digital detox, start by picking just one day a week to go screen free, relocate your device somewhere that you can't get it, make it as difficult as possible to use your device or cover the screen. They said using wrapping hair bands around it, for example. Number four, fill the void. Just do other things in your life. Leave the phone behind. And number five, they've got these apps that you can install and track your activity, which I did, and it would be a really big wake-up call for the rest of you. Brian, I hope you're doing well, my friend. It's been a long time since we last spoke. Hope things are well with your business. And for the rest of you, feel free to share, feel free to comment below if a digital detox is for you, and how excited are you with the fact that our industry is going to be exploding as it is right now uh, in terms of growth. Blessings. We'll chat with you soon. Bye-bye.